Okay, here. All right, so we're here in South Dakota. We were driving around, and uh, so George over here said, uh, you want to stop and see, uh, like, a baby Tim? It's called the Dominator. So, George, can you explain, please, what is this Dominator? Well, it's basically it's a Chevy Tahoe that has been specially armor-plated uh, by Reed Timmer and the TornadoVideos.net crew, and their concept is to drive into a tornado, yeah. document it from the inside with a, with a radar scan, as well as these uh, instrumented probes okay, that are mounted on air cannons. Let's go see what this is. All right, so now, how does this work? So what exactly happens here? Okay, there's 10 of these air canisters right. inside with a compressed air tank. They get into the tornado, they hit a button, boom, these uh, probes then, go up with little parachutes. Right, little and, tiny little parachutes. Yeah, and they measure temperature and dew point and pressure, and they transmit that information back to the vehicle. There's a computer inside, kind of like the movie Twister. Okay. So, the guy rides in here, and how do we know that this thing doesn't, like, take off? Well, we don't know that for we sure. Don't, we don't know that for sure. Uh, but this, he actually goes inside the tornado? Yes, and he's been inside numerous tornadoes before. So this uh, vehicle actually has seen some real action. Okay. So, all right. So this is the thing with it, where it launches. And what's this thing over here? Uh, well, they also take different, uh, more traditional measurements. That's an anemometer on top, so they can measure wind speed. Uh, they also have a vertically mounted radar system that allows them to scan the tornado in a vertical fashion. It's uh, never really been done before. Really? Okay, so is there anything that that, that, put, that bolts this to the ground so if it starts to lift? Well, and actually, the way it's designed is that yeah. if the wind hits it, it's sort of like a wedge, and the wind actually pushes it down onto the ground. It does drop so that it's flush on the ground. There's hydraulics underneath. Okay. So they get into position, they drop themselves down, and then any wind will actually help force the vehicle further down on the ground. So that stays down, these go up, hopefully the guy stays inside, and we get a nice report at the end of it. The trick is they have to decide how strong a tornado is when it's coming at them. If it's too strong, they'll get killed. So that's the tricky part. So they're not going to an F5 with this thing. The thing is, you don't know how strong the tornado is just by looking at it. You know what? I think I'll stick with these guys at cloud9tours.com. I think that's a lot safer. Frank Capital reporting.